Good evening, good evening, and good evening, and welcome to Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. How are you guys doing this week? I am hoping that you are well. Listen, we're just jumping onto Facebook. Those of you who are on uh, the catch up, if you're catching up, make sure you leave your comments in the thread. But for those of you who are with me today, Thank you for joining me for Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. Listen, guys, it's going to be an incredible show today. We are talking about business from the viewpoint and how you can get yourself into a business just from your passion, just from your passion and create another income. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that feel great if you could do something that you really love, really enjoy and create an income from it? Now, that income can look anything like uh, just a little a little side hustle. So you're getting a little bit of money, a little bit of change or you can really go full throttle and create the life of your dreams. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to share this with all your family and friends right now. Tell them to jump on, get involved, get in tune to Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. This is um, where we change stuff. We're talking about real change from the inside out. This is what we're talking about today. We're talking about taking control. Listen, guys, did you hear? Did you hear the speech? Did you hear the speech? yesterday that Mr. Johnson came out with. Did it make any sense to you? No, it didn't. I don't even need you to answer that question because I know it didn't because I've seen the posts all over, all over. Nobody is none the wiser. Nobody. All right. But if you go further down on my page, there is an explanation from a psychologist, which it sums it up completely. But I say that to say this. Right. I say that all to say this. Is that we now have to take control of our own destiny. We have to be our own rescue. Did you hear what I said, guys? We have to be our own rescue. Yes, we do. So now it's about us taking control and we are going to learn together. We're going to grow together. We're going to develop together and we're going to build our own wealth. We're going to build our own communities and we are going to change the script. I have come here to, to change stuff. To, to flip the script on how we are used to doing things. Now is the time for change. We've been saying this for a long time, but it is, you can see it's time for change. So I wanna know how you guys are doing. Always show me some love on Facebook. Guys, don't forget to pretty up the screen. Make me feel the love, let me see the love. Listen, I, I haven't had a hug in a long time. So if you show me some love, some love hearts, I'll be very, very, very <laughs> happy, all right? So we are here today and I have two amazing guests. One of my guests is not here yet, but I know she'll be here later. Two amazing guests um, in the show, female guests who have gone out and started their own businesses in two, in two different ways. And I wanted to show you the difference, show the difference of how you can actually create an income, a surplus income. You know, who, who doesn't want to earn money when they sleep? Who doesn't want to earn money while you sleep? Because I know I do. Yeah, I do. And I, I, I really like the sound of that. I like the feel of that. Earning money while I sleep. Yes, man, that sounds good to me. So and I know that there are many of you, many, many of you who feel the same way. So, right. So on the thread, let's have a look. Hi, Joy Cox. How you doing? Sheena, how you doing this evening? Barbara, how you doing? How, how are you doing? Listen, we need to connect. Um, 
Barbara, yes, yes, this is a virtual one for you. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, ladies, 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 I know that there are some ladies on here right now who are want to write books. They want to ha have their own businesses. They want to take their passion and create an income, create something from nothing. This is the show for you. This is how we do it. And as we move along together, we are going to grow together. We are going to develop together because you know what? No woman should be left behind. No man should be left behind either. But you know what? It's all women tonight so far. So, so good. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Not that I discriminate against men because I don't. Men are very, very, very much needed. But ladies, what we're talking about tonight is creating your own wealth so that you can put that back into your homes, your community, and further afield, yeah? We need to have our own. This situation here shows us that we need our own. This situation shows us that we're not really in control, are we, if we're honest? Because when they say lockdown, it's lockdown. And if you're locked down and you're not working for a company that has surplus, then you're not going to have any money because you're going to have to claim um, what car, what not universal credit. That's the one, or you're furloughed, so you're getting less than. And now companies, what they're doing, they're actually asking you to take a cut in your wages to keep the companies going. Don't be fooled. We are in a crisis right now, but we can still earn. We can still take this thing back by force. Yet yeah, because we're powerful powerful. I want you to understand the power that you have in you and how all it takes is for you to start to renew your mind. And we need to do that on a daily, hourly basis, renewing the mind so that we can go forward and that we can establish ourselves where we want to be. So I just want to say good morning, good evening, I'll say good morning, good evening to everybody on this call. So Without further ado, sorry, should I say, those of you who are on the www. please forgive me for not even mentioning you this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you who are on lurlive.co.uk, welcome to Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. Now, if you would like to get involved in the conversation, please jump over to Facebook or you can email me at info at yvonnemichelle.com, info at yvonnemichelle.com, Yvonne Michelle, Michelle has one L, email me, put your comments in, and you know what, from next week we'll have a number so you can call in, because I think we're leaving you out too much, those of you who are on the WW, look, my, I don't know what's going on with my ear today, on the WW. So those of you who are here, good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Good evening, Amina. Good evening, uh, Deborah. Good evening, CJ. Good evening, Marisha. Good evening, Ronald. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Those of you who are here, listen, this is about us tonight. This is about us taking things back by force and being our own rescue. Who's ready for that? Who's ready for that? Let me see some love in the Facebook feed. Give me some love. And I am going to be bringing in my first guest. I am going to, we're, we're going to rock and roll tonight. We're rocking and rolling. We're moving fast tonight. So my first guest, um, we actually haven't been in contact that much and known each other that long. But I've looked at some things and I see some things that I like. So I am one of those people that I don't have much time to be on social media, but if something jumps out at me, I will take it in and I will jump back out and I will connect. And so this young lady, I've connected with her and um, she is doing, she's gonna explain what she does soon. She does um, network marketing. What's network marketing? Well. She's going to explain exactly what that is. Now, sometimes you don't know. There are some people who don't know what business they want to do. They're stuck. They don't know. They feel that like there's nothing that they that they could do for themselves. And sometimes network marketing is the way forward, is the way you might like makeup. You might like whatever. You might like whatever. And, and there are network marketing companies. Let me give you an example of a network marketing company would be something like Mary Kay. That's a network marketing. There's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of um, 
just just juice just juice something sir it is yeah another market there's loads and loads of them out there but this is your opportunity for you to sell a product and earn some money which is not with your job it's not connected to your nine to five. This is going to give you freedom. Who wants freedom? I know that you guys want freedom. If you want freedom tonight, I want you to put it in the thread that you want freedom. Put it on Facebook. Let me hear you loud and clear so I can see your messages coming in. So I want to know who wants to be free. Who wants financial freedom? Who wants to be free from the nine to five, the monotony of going to job, being told what to do? Who thinks that they can, they can actually build something of their own? Well, this is what tonight's about. This is about us taking back control. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Barbara says, I'm ready. That's what I want to hear. Hi, Carol Massey. How are you, my darling? Right. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in my guest, the lovely Jennifer Campbell. And we're going to bring her in right now. So here we go. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh. I'm good, I'm good. You're good. Okay. So just relax because I can see that you're feeling really nervous. It's fine. We're good. Oh we're good. This is conversations with Yvonne Michelle. So we're just gonna have a conversation about what you do and how people can get involved in in what you do. And and it doesn't necessarily have to be what you do, but it could be something similar. Now we've got Barbara saying, I want freedom. Sheena saying, freedom, yes, for real. And Marisha saying, amen to freedom. Now, this is what we're talking about. So, Jen, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome to Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. So, Jen, I know that you do network marketing. So, if you were to tell us, oh, there's Pam saying, hi, Pam. Pam is saying, yes, freedom, absolutely. So, we're all on the same page. We all want the same thing. Is Pam your friend? Is Pam your friend, Jen? Do you know Pam? Great. So, listen. So, Jennifer, tell us, tell us a little bit about you, you know, just what you do, and then a little bit about your story of how you got into what you do. Okay. Um, what I do, I just share what I love. And what I love is um, this, these products. These are naturally based products, are anti-aging, and it promotes hair growth without chemicals. That's what I love. Because it's no parabens, no chemicals whatsoever to disturb your, your natural you know, chemistry of your own. So you won't call any cancer or fibroids or anything like that. That's what I love about it. Um, and how I got into it, to, to begin with, to begin with, in the very beginning, when I left school, all I wanted to do was to be a hairdresser. That's all I wanted to do. All right, so I worked as a hairdresser for about three years. Then I changed and worked as a beauty consultant for about 12 years. But because I had my kids and I'm a single parent, I had to change my career to work in um, the corporate world to bring in enough funds to support them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I worked in the industry for about 15 years, um, but I was looking for something that I was more passionate about, which is getting back into the beauty industry. So, right. Um, yeah. So um, I got a message on LinkedIn from this lovely lady that said um, hi Jennifer um, I know this is random but I'm looking for people to say what's in the UK um, would I be interested and it's all to do with like anti aging hair line that you hair without chemicals um, and before I even tried the products I was interested straight away because this is the industry I want to get back in I signed up um, the following week, even before I tried the product, I had hair loss myself. Yeah. Um, so when I used the product, it actually grew my hair back in six weeks. Okay. And I've got, um, is there a lot of feedback? Can you hear me clearly? I don't have any feedback. Have you got your phone near to you? Is it on? I'm speaking yes. to my phone, yes. Okay, okay. Do you have headphones? I do not have it nearby. Okay. I'm fine. As long as you can hear me clearly, it's fine. I can hear you now. Someone was saying it was a, a, a little bit 
can't hear and she's fr you're freezing but carol's oh. carol's saying yes that's better so because i've oh. turned you up here so i don't know if that's so we'll carry on and let oh and Lyndon's saying yes there's feedback so it might be that you carry on and let's see how we're doing um okay. you may need to get some headphones though that might help with the feedback if you're feeding back okay can i do i need to go and find some headphones quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Because we know that this is live. We know that this is live. All right, let me find some. One second. Linda say carry on. Give us a give out give us a second. Give us a second. What you can see there behind Jennifer is the actual product at the side. Now Jennifer sells a product that is a hundred percent non chemical based now for what i have seen now i must give you a little bit of history about me in my previous life in my previous existence i am should i say a qualified hairdresser and have clients i still do hair i've been doing hair for over 30 years my clients will not allow me to stop doing their hair so i do hair once a month and i am chocker block all right but one thing I know, especially within the within the African Caribbean community, not to mention European, because I do both, is that hair loss is is a thing. Alopecia, especially listen around these edges, right from the the traction of plaiting and all of those things, uh, dreadlocks, the weight of it, all of these things pull on pull down on our hair. And so what Jennifer's Jennifer's product does, it's had amazing results, um, absolutely amazing results. And I'm like, mm, this is this is a natural product, a natural product. So this is what Jennifer um, is involved in, in terms of her network marketing. So you're selling a network marketing, you're selling a product for, for another company, and then you get commission for what you sell. So that's just to give you a brief insight in, into what network marketing is, and why Jennifer's here today. It is because I know that many of us are struggling with our hair. And I always say us, I always include myself, even though the struggle is not that real for me. I, I'm, as I said, I'm a hairdresser, I do my own hair. But the struggle is real. And also, I saw this thing, this, um, I saw this article, this video of, of this man talking about uh, black women, especially with the extensions and where the extensions are coming from and all of these things. So this is a really, really interesting conversation. You can't find the headphones? Nearly there, nearly there. My daughter's okay. fixing it up for me. Can the product work on 90-year-old young ladies? <laughs> yes. Lyndon Wissart is asking, if the person is 90, will it work? And I believe it will work. As, as Jennifer just gets set up. Guys, just bear with us. The struggle is very real for me. I just heard it. Well, it's, right, okay. So there's somebody right here, Jennifer, um, that's saying um, the struggle is very real for her. Um, she just hides it well, this hair loss. So we're going to give you some details, Marisha, so of where you can get a hold of some of these products um, to help. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Here we go. Here we go. And Okay, yes. Yeah. So um, I was dealing with hair loss myself. So I, I bought the product. Uh, I bought the into the company before I used the product. This was my before. You can see that. All right. So hold it up very still. Can you, if you tilt it up like this, if you just tilt it slightly more. So put the top end towards me. So it's more that way. That way. Yeah. And a bit further oh, okay. down. That's it. Ah, that's. Can you guys see? Can you see the middle of the hair is losing? That's it. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. And if anything, what um, we can do is you can send those. If you send those to me or put them on the link after, add the pictures so that people can see it there and then, see what yeah. the results were to what they are now within a matter of six weeks. Right. Oh. 
that was six weeks, yeah. You can see that. Six weeks. Six weeks of hair has grown yeah. back. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant. and it's all naturally based. Naturally based products very, very quickly. Natural based product. So Lyndon Wissart is asking, is it a combination of products or is it one product? For the, for the, is that, Lyndon, is that for the, if that, can you be clear if that's for hair loss or, you know, just for the receding, it might be for alopecia? No, we've got products for, for like general hair loss, like if everything and everything like that. And we also got products for um, alopecia, which is slightly more, it's got more uh, pixels in it that helps to grow the hair. It's got more pixels to help you grow the hair. Hair loss, yeah. So yeah, so is the is it one product for the hair loss or a combination? We've got a combination. So for example, you use the, the black shampoo mm -hmm. is for a scalp it helps to remove all the buildup from the hair. Yeah. Scalp. And it helps to stimulate the follicles so it can grow. So you use that ice in your hands and then you stimulate go into the scalp and helps to stimulate the scalp. So you do that twice, leave it on for three minutes and you can just so it can penetrate into the follicle. Rinse off and on a uh, morning and night you spray the intensive repair treatment. You right. just spray it, like if you've got ages, you just spray it on and rub it in. Yeah. So you've got morning the black and night. That's so you've got process. black shampoo, right? And then you've got the spray. You put the spray in after. There's a slight delay, Jen. Yes. There's a slight delay. Intensive spray. Yeah, you use that twice a day. AMP. Right. Um, as do, um, you need to do a oil treatment as well. It helps to nourish the follicles. Right. Oil. So, yeah, it's a really bad reception to hear what you're saying. We're having a little bit di of difficulty, but we're going to take it slow. We take it slow because we do know that because everyone's on the Internet, it is a challenge right now. So, guys, those of you who are with us, please bear with us. But what we will do as well is we will put more information into the comments and um, the picture that Jennifer has shown We'll get that onto into the comments so that you can actually see the difference that it made to her hair. Um, this is real, guys. This is real. Um, Lyndon is saying, and I think, Lyndon, you're just being funny now. Does it bring grey hair back to black? <laughs> no. <laughs> does it bring grey hair back? I think, Lyndon, I think, no. Lyndon, Data, you need to get a colour for that, Lyndon. But is that from? Are you are you thinking about that? For, he's probably thinking about that for his mum, because he mentioned about a ninety-year-old. So I'm assuming that that's for mum in terms of the hair loss. Um, so um, that would be helpful. So mm -hmm. Jennifer, let me ask you because <clears throat> one of the things that you said was that you went into corporate work <coughs> to feed the family as a single parent. And then this opportunity now has come up for you to, to sell in this network marketing space. And how has that changed your life? How has that changed? Oh, oh, I'm much more happier now. And it's like times when you, you skin and then you remember, oh my God, I've got my mate to help me out. You know what I mean? It's time when you can just go um, shopping and you know you've got backup money. So it's always there to yeah. help you out. So has that um, helped you during this time? You know, I we're going to the sofa. I know it's the sofa and I was able to just buy the back. Can you? Right, it's difficult. So I'll tell you what I'm going to get you oh, to you're breaking do. up. If you log out and jump back in, so just come out of the, come out of it now and come, use the same link and come back. I will be here. Let's just see if it's the line, if we can change that. 
because it was starting to freeze. You break. No, I'm breaking up. Yeah, so jump off and come back in. Okay. Okay? All right, you'll be back. I'll remove you. Okay, guys, so um, I want to thank you for your patience as we are still battling with uh, the internet tonight. Um, but I really want to get you so that you understand and get a grip get my words out, get abreast of this, because this is such an important area. This is so important, especially to women and to men, because I'm sure that the men are going to um, be able to benefit from this as well. And we all want, as the ladies were saying earlier, they all want financial freedom. They all want financial freedom. Everybody wants financial freedom. Now, I know that there are some of you ladies in here that have got an idea. You've got an idea that you want to push forward, that you want, you think, oh, I could make something, but you just don't know how. Or you've started something and then you're stuck. Or, you know, you've you've actually got a product, and but you just don't know what direction to take it in. And you're unsure of the processes. This is why I'm here to help. This is why I'm here to help. And this is why we're doing this show, because I want to let you know that there are opportunities for you. There are opportunities for you to thrive. There are opportunities for you to grow and develop within a network. All right. So I want you to realize that and realize how important your dreams, your aspirations, your goals are. And they are achievable. I want you to know today it is possible. Right. And it's about making a way. And here's where you are. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I can. Uh, Pam is saying the Internet is crazy busy right now with everyone on it. Can we can be patient. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really, really want you guys to get this. It seems like that you get the best reception early in the morning. <laughs> everybody's on it. And I think everybody's just sitting down and relaxing on the internet right now, especially after yesterday's nonsense from Boris Johnson. But that's like, let me not get sidetracked with the foolishness and let us stay focused on what we need to do as women, as men, as people that are on a mission to change and disrupt the normal. This is our new normal, but we're here to disrupt it. We still have power. We still can create. We, we come from the infinite source of creation. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We come from that. We, we are the descendants of that. So therefore, if the higher source is given us the power to create, why are we not creating? We can create. We can create. Lyndon says, you sound great. Thank you. Guys, I want to welcome everybody that's joining me this evening. What I want you to know is that it is possible for you to create your own wealth. It is possible for you to turn this situation around and do you. Yes, do you. Do it the way that you want. Disrupt the normal, man. I'm done. I've had enough. Come on, guys. You know, I do this in the morning. Who's with me? Because we have the power. It's in us. It's in us. It's in us. Are you back? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hello. hear me? Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Better. Oh, that's much better. That's much, much better. Okay, so let's pick up from where we left off. So, you have this product and you are doing network marketing. And so you were telling us about your experience of the alopecia and it, your hair reforming. How long did that take? Yeah. Oh, I can't even hear your question. Do you want me to repeat? Um, I've been with the company for uh, two years, if that's the question you're asking. Yes, yes. Right, so the question I ask is how long did it take for the alopecia to grow, to start to grow back? Oh, of oh, people with alopecia, how long it takes. Um, it, it depends, like um, you can get, say, 
it could take two two months. It depends what what type of alopecia and how severe it is. But you, with these products, you get really good results in a very short space of time. If you were to use something that's got chemicals, it sort of um, interfere with your biochemistry and it doesn't work as fast. Because these are natural, it works in harmony with your body, you get the results much quicker. So I would say it depends because we had a, a really young girl who had alopecia and it took like over up to like a year and a half for her to grow her hair fully back. She's completely bald. But it's the consistent use of these products. You will definitely get your hair grown back. That's so we have like um one percent return rate on our products. So yeah, yeah. And it's the 30 day money back guarantee. So that's how brilliant the products are. And you know, if we're backed by that, so that's how good the products are. It, you do get results. Okay. Yeah. And does is this time consuming? Does it take up a lot of your time? To no, because you always shampoo, you have to shampoo your hair anyway. It's not like you're not doing anything out of the ordinary, you know. You shampoo your hair, you just, you know, all you got to do is just uh, invest in yourself. You just, you just, um, it's just three minutes, leave the products on your hair for three minutes while you're doing a the, the hoovering or something, and you, you know, you do it twice and you apply the products morning and night. It's not, not like it's taking so much of your time, it's like you're, you're investing in yourself, so you're treating yourself. so it doesn't take a huge amount of time, no. Brilliant. What right? So we've got Teo saying, "What is the name?" Oh, okay. Teo's coming late. What is the name of the product? So we go through that again. The product, the actual product itself is um, Monate, it's Monate, and it's um, shampoo and conditioner. Two so in that, one. Shampoo two and in one. So it's Monate. Right, can we can you spell that for yes. me? It's M O N A T, Monate. And it's the um, black two in one shampoo and conditioner. That's the one that grows your hair back. This, yeah. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just writing this two in. And for one. alopecia. Yeah. That's for general hair loss, but for alopecia, we've got the intense repair shampoo and conditioner right so that's intense repair yeah and conditioner right and so guys who are listening, in it that helps to, yeah right so those of you who are listening i'm going to ask you for some help because i am typing in and i'm running this all at the same time so if you hear something that will help like the name or where she, you can get the products for if somebody could just type that into the comments that would be really really helpful really really helpful tonight um right so jennifer is there a website is there a website because this is what's been asked is there a website for the product yeah you can use my website yeah. Should I type it in or should I? Type it in. Should if you can see the thread here, type it in. Yeah. Shall I type it in? Yeah. Type it in. Okay. If you can. So if you, all right, you tell me and I'll, I'll do it. So it'll just keep it flowing. So it's, okay. So the website is Jen. Did you say Jen? Okay. It's Jen Barbara. B A R. JenBarbara.mymonate.com. Dot. Jen Barbara. So it's not, mm -hmm. yeah. J E N B A R B R A dot mymonate. Yeah. Mon mymonate.com. Mymonate.com. Okay. Mon at dot com. Right. I've got it. At last. And it's all lowercase, guys, just so that you know, right? Because it's come out as capitals. But it's, it's I've, There we go. It's on there. That's the website. Oh, she's gone. But she'll be back. She'll be back. I think her internet's gone down. But we've got some good details. I want you to go on the site. Right. It's Jennifer, the Jen, Barbara, one word at mymonat.com. 
All right. So if you, Pam, can you type that in for me, please? Yes. And that might be a way that you can contact Jennifer um, to get more details. My other lady is coming. I've just received a message from her to say that she will be with us in two shakes. So this is good. I, I don't know what the state of the, the internet is, but as long as you guys can still hear me, can you still hear me? Am I still with you? Are you can you still hear me? I'm telling you this, guys, if you think that this job is easy, <laughs> it's not. It's not at all. But it's all right. Shall I tell you why? Because life throws us curved balls. It does all the time. And when you have a curved ball, you've got to stand with your feet girded on the ground. And you've got to focus on the job in hand. You know when that ball's coming, the curved ball, you've got to see in which direction it's coming and get ready to hit that thing back to where you need it to go or to put it back into position. Thank you very much, Pam, for saying you can hear me. So same way that life throws curved balls, when you're doing things like this, yeah. Oh, she's done it. Here we go. Uh, here we go. I've got it here. Um, yeah. When we've got curved balls, we just have to get on and do. All right. We have to get on and we just got to make the most of it. So as you can see, um, my lady has been kicked out because of the internet. And, um, She's not here, but it doesn't matter because we're still going to keep moving on. We're going to keep striving on. I have been I have been going in and out. So please, everyone, don't give up. The Internet is very unstable today. Yes. Yes, I know. I know. Thank you, Lyndon. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. You are such a blessing. Such a such a blessing. Thank you so much, guys. So listen. Right. So we know that. We have options. So what I want to know is, whilst we're waiting for the ladies to come back, where are you? What, thank you, darling. Thank you, Pam. You are an angel. Thank you. And Lyndon, thank you very much. We've got two different feeds going on. So this is great because we are actually streaming in two different, three different, four different places tonight. This is how we're doing it. This is how we're doing it. And this is what I'm saying. You've got to be willing to do something uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable for me. I am not technological at all, but I'm still here and I'm still doing it. So I want you to tell me, what is it? What is it that you want to do? Come on, in the thread, tell me what you want to do. What is your heart's desire? What is the type of thing that you want to build? Do you want to write a book? Do you want to start your own business? Do you want to, you know, do you want to help people? Do you want to be a life coach? Do you, what do you want? What is the goal? I want you to tell me, what is your goal right now? What is the end goal? Where do you see yourself in three years time, five years time? What is the goal that you want? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Tell me what it is that you desire, all right? And the reason why I'm asking you that is because this is what I do. This is how I help. And I want to help you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. I want to help you to move one step further towards your goals, one step further towards the dream, because the, the, the power is in your hand. You have it. You have it in your hand. And all you have to do is learn how to use it, how to manipulate it in your hand. It's like having a piece of dough, you know. OK, so Barbara is saying. Right. So Barbara is saying she wants to do her poetry out there and finish her book. The best way to reach the masses. Huh? She, yes, it is. This is the best way. Speaking is the best way to meet to to reach the masses. And this is what I teach in my training. Right. Carol Rollins is saying start a business. What I discussed earlier. Absolutely. Amina saying she wants to be a transformational speaker. Absolutely. Right. So ladies, ladies, come on. I want to see what you want to be, what you want to do. I want to see. Thank you. Thank you. 
you, thank you to Barbara, to Carol, to Amina for, for putting it out there, for being brave, for being bold to say, this is what I want to do. Because now that you put it out into the atmosphere, now you're going to become accountable to it. Now we want to see the manifestation come to pass. Ah, Jen is back. She's back. She's back. She's back. Let's bring her in. Hey, are you okay? Well, I don't know what happened there. The, it's the internet. It will throw you out. Yeah. Just, it will. It will. Wow. Right. Lyndon is saying, yeah. if someone is using data and Wi-Fi in your house, hold on. If someone is using data and Wi-Fi in your house, try using data only and switch off Wi-Fi or reverse the process. That's what he's saying. Right. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can't hear me, you're frozen. Okay, let's take you out for a moment because you're frozen. Okay, and we'll come back. Um, Jen, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you, we'll give it, give it a few minutes and we'll come back to you, all right? Okay, so you're still frozen. Ah, once you start moving, I'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the audience. Hi, Trevor, how are you doing? Sheena's saying, I want to be an inspirational speaker. Joanna Brown is here. Hi, Joanna. Joanna is a, a, an author, she's an incredible lady. Um, and Teo saying she wants to move to the next level. What does the next level look like to you, Teo? What does that mean? What is it you want to do specifically, right? So that we can start to help each other tonight. Okay, let me bring Jen back in. Let's see if we can get back in. Hey, listen, we're not being defeated tonight. We will not be defeated. We are gladiator hey, yeah. champions. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you keep freezing every so often, but you know. Yeah, yeah it will. Linda's saying he only uses data when he has, and he'll have a perfect reception. So, are you using Wi-Fi or the data from your phone? This is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. And have you tried yeah. using the data on your phone? Everybody's using Wi-Fi. You want me to try that? It might help. Disappear now. No, no, I'll be here. It will stay. This will stay locked in. And even if you get locked out, you've got the link. So you just go back on the link and I'll be here. And we'll all okay. be here. My data we'll now. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. My next guest is here. My darling, just stay right there. We'll bring you in shortly. Okay, Jen. So here we go. This, this is, is my better now. This is better. Is that better, guys? Oh, yeah, this is better. All right. So oh, good. <laughs> don't worry. It's fine. So we're having a conversation about <laughs> this project, Mon Monat. It's Monat. Is it Monat or Monet? Monate. Monate. I call it, I say Monate. It's modern nature, Monate. Right, Monate. So, and it's based on natural products. There is no chemicals in the product. And this has been... No, all natural based. Yeah, that's better. So, so, um, so moving forward now in what you'll do, you've been in the company for two years, you used it on your own hair because you were suffering with some alopecia and it started to grow back within six weeks. And so now you've become um, a network marketer yeah. in this product. And what I was gonna ask you was, yeah. how, is that, how has that changed your life? Did I ask you that already for the better? How has that changed your life? Doing this job, doing this kind of way and earning like commissions, how has that changed your life? Oh, oh, yeah. You will you get? Uh, I've got I've got it out here. You can earn thirty to forty percent on retail sales, fifteen to twenty five percent on VIP sales, and bonuses as well. So you always have like money. Or you know, there's no way that I've got. Um, lack of money there's always something I can fall back on if you know what I mean so yeah. with not just the money that's not the only thing that that's 
makes me happy. It's just like the community as well. You meet so many different people. You meet so many women. Have you got that? Because you no, know, as you grow up, you lose your, you know, you, you friends get married, and you sort of, you know, you, you lose your friends. If you know what I mean, because they're married and they sort of drift apart. But with this, you've got the community um, of women and the support network. It's just great to have that. You're forever meeting new people. So that's helped me in that way because I'm. I don't feel so lonely, if you know what I mean. Sometimes it can be quite lonely being a single parent, but I've got so many friends as well. So that's what's really nice. And the company's so supportive. Good, good. So, so ladies, gentlemen, if you were thinking, if you were feeling a little bit stuck and you didn't know what you wanted to do for yourself and you wanted to go and, um, and invest, because this is the word, of the season invest in yourself when you when you're looking at these things i don't want you to think oh i'm just investing in a product no actually you're investing in yourself first yes. in anything you do right and i want you to really get that into your spirit right now that this life is about us investing into the self and it's not about being selfish it's about recognizing how important the self that you have is, right? I'm gonna say that again. It's about recognizing how important the self that you have is, all right? You are important. And it was something that you, cause you said, you, you said in, in, in one of the um, things that you were saying, I heard you say, it was about investing in yourself. You wanted to invest in yourself and you found this product and you mm. love this product. Now, I'm looking at your hair. You look like you've yeah, got a yeah. full of hair. <laughs> yeah, it looks thick. It what looks was the question? Thick. I said, I'm looking at your hair, and I can see that you've got a head full of hair. Your hair looks Of hair, thick. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, it looks <laughs> thick. So, and this, I believe, is what most of us want, our own natural thick hair that uh, looks yeah. healthy is healthy and grows in a healthy way we don't want that you know for me I, I mean i've shaved it right but that's not everybody's style and <laughs> fashion yeah. so it's yeah. really i can see it, is your hair natural as well it's natural i've never ever worn weaves ever yeah it's my hair definitely yeah. i would not Wearing weaves and wigs is not is not my thing. So yeah, this is my hair. <laughs> not, okay. my, yeah, not my thing at all. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. And that's cool because it, it looks so healthy and it looks so thick. So this is, you know, I know that there's going to be some people on the on this thread that be like, yeah, I want my hair to look like that. I want to get these. So we've put your um your website at, on the screen so people can yeah. see where to get a hold of this um, product. And yeah, yeah. I do hope that you guys invest in yourselves um, and help Barbara to, sorry, I'm calling you Barbara now, Jennifer. You can call me Barbara. <laughs> to move forward in her business, because this is what we're talking about today. You see, mm -hmm. each one has to help one. My grandmother say, one hand can't clap, one hand can't clap. It can't clap. I don't know who's calling me right now. Carol Laurent. Um, oh no, that's the thing. Yeah. So, so this is where we're at now. We're gonna. We are here to help. We are here to to walk together, to learn together, and to thrive together. So, guys, you know, we want you to. I know we haven't had uh, an easy conversation because of the internet, but you know, Jennifer is here. Um, if you have any other questions, please do feel free to ask. Yeah, Pam mm -hmm. Hannaway saying each one help one. Absolutely. This is what we're talking about. So for those Thanks, of you who, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are just joining us, we are talking to Jennifer. Jennifer um, does network marketing and she has a product called Monat Monat. Terrible Monate. 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 And it helps to restore our hair. And it's all natural products. Um, Jennifer had alopecia. And within six weeks, um, that started to grow back. How, how long did you have the alopecia before you used the oh. product? 
I had it for about uh, two, three months, and I've been like researching to find things to, to products to grow my hair back, but it didn't work. Um, yeah. Pax Cosmetics. I went there. I bought loads of products, and it just like you wasted so much money. Um, but with these, you just um, you can you know if it doesn't work, you get your money back. That's what's good about it. And not only that, we don't only deal with hair loss. We do with um, just looking after your hair in generally. So for um, our hair, we've got a super nourish shampoo, oil cream shampoo, and the conditioner, which is like just for general hair maintenance. Yeah. So these contain. Um, natural essential oils like grapeseed oil, um, raspberry seed oil, and pomegranate seed oil. So it's very nourishing and it's oil-based. So this is something that you can use that hasn't got any parabens or silicones in it as well. So this is a good uh, duo to, to use as well. Okay. This all sounds... So is there any oils or anything, or is it just the shampoos and the conditioners that you use? No, we've got the, the oil as well, the rejuvenic oil. Um, it contains 13 essential oils um, from around the world, and 90% um, of our products contain a rejuvenated oil. So you're getting a blast of treatment every time you use the, the, our products. You're getting treatment all the time. So it's not just um, like it's not giving any harsh treatments. You get so these are solution-based products. So if you've got a problem, we've got a solution to, to fix the problem. So okay. you're getting treatment all the time. It's packed with vitamins as well. So um, you're getting what your body needs. Oh, this is good. So if, say, for instance, uh, someone's got a lot of grey, because we know that a lot of the white hair is coarser, it's drier than our darker mm -hmm. hair. Um, yeah. would, would, is there something for that to kind of smooth or make that not as cool? With, um, let me say again, with the rejuvenate oil, um, the molecular, I can't even say it, molecular, I can't say it, molecular structure of this is, that's it, it's really tiny, tiny enough to penetrate the hair strand, and it uh, feeds the hair from the inside out, so it helps to soften the hair, so there's not many oils that can penetrate the hair, like the rejuvenating oil can, I don't, um, coconut oil, um, Moroccan oil just sits on the hair, you might, it's just, just an oil clip, and it doesn't feed the hair at all, but this penetrates and feeds the hair from the inside out. Like, like all our products as well, because it's infused in all of the products. So you're getting treatment after treatment after treatment. So it's treatment upon treatment upon treatment. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all treating the hair. Yeah. Great, great, great. So guys, this is a great product. And I'm going to be um, investing in some of the products, you know, to for some of my clients um, as well. So because I think it will be beneficial. And that's just to kind of, you know, move things forward as well um but we will um invite jennifer you will be coming back <laughs> oh yes please let me come back and give you the you know give you more yeah. information <laughs> yeah because what we could do is uh how we could look at this is we could actually do a show where you do a demonstration so you could you know maybe with your daughter's hair and comb it through and whatever and not. oh yeah Just yeah yeah how the products are used mm -hmm. because one of the things um oh cheryl say where can you buy this product um, Cheryl, if you look on the screen, there's a website there. You can buy it directly from Jennifer yeah. um, and it will be sent to you. So yeah. um, you can also message me as well on that on that site. You can message me any questions. I can feed back to you. Any questions at all, I can feed back yeah. to you. All right. I hope that helps. So, Jennifer, we're going to invite you back because my other lady's here and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she won't. she's been getting kicked out by the Internet. OK. But um, she is here. So we're going to take the conversation over to um, Corrine. But I am opening up an invitation for you to come back and let us know and talk more about this product. Yeah. Because you mentioned something. You mentioned, well, I, th I think I made a statement. You said, yeah, we, we struggle. We have to go to all these different places to get products for our hair. And you mentioned pack. Now, I've used Pack for many, many years, but the, every time I use, and I'm just going to say yeah. this, the guys don't shoot me down, but you know what? I'm just going to talk my mind. For years, I've been going to Pack and other shops, Julia, Juliet, all these companies. Mm. And actually, they are owned by Asian people. And I, there's nothing wrong with that. Let me just put that out there. There's nothing wrong with that. However, the market they're catering for 
is African Caribbean people and they do not know about the products that they have in the shop that they're selling us. Exactly. And therefore, we, they're advising us to buy all these products that they don't know, have any idea what they are. And we're putting it in our hair. At the end of the day, yeah. it is high time that we as our own African Caribbean people start to uh, sell our own products. I know that we can get products from bits there are uh, African and Caribbean places that do food and they'll have little products here, little products here. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having ownership. I'm talking about building something that is ours. I'm talking about uh, creating a service for our own people to create wealth amongst our own people. And I'm not talking about segregation. I'm not talking about that. But it is high time that we have for ourselves and stop begging at the table. Um, as, as, as Tyler Perry said, build our own table. And this product can give us the opportunity to create the revenue to do our things for ourselves. All right. So, um, Jen. Yeah. Let me say one more thing before we go. Yes. Right. I just want to say that it's not a pyramid scheme. It's, that's illegal. So please hop on. And I want to just read out one thing. Read one more thing. Right. I'm looking for individuals who are interested in buying into the product and the opportunity that exhibits beauty, emotion, strength, while supporting their families and adding value to the community. So think about your community um, and hump, you know, jump aboard. We can all look after you. It's a great, money is a great place to be. <laughs> Thank you so much for jumping on today. Thank you. And we will be in touch. I'll be in touch with you again. And we will have you back okay. on. We'll do a demonstration. We'll, we'll do something. All right, my darling? That'd be good. Thank you yes. so much. Thanks for having me, guys. You're very well. <laughs> All right. Thank so you. now I'm going to bring in my my next guest, um, who is here waiting. Are you here, my darling? Where are you? I am. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'm just trying I... to flip the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Hello. guys. Hello, how are I tried you? To make it effort for you today. Say that again. I tried to make an effort in my appearance for you today. <laughs> the okay, so guys, this is Kareen. Kareen is running her own organization now. So, so we've had the two. We've had um, Jen. Jen, and if you want to stay and come in at the end, you can, you know. So just let me know with a thumbs up if you want to come back and stay, because I can still see you in the green room. So, so Kareen is here. Kareen is 31, 31 years old. I am. And Hi, has been... <laughs> Hello, darling. And has started her own business. Now, um, I spoke to Kareen today. And we we had such a good conversation, a good vibe, good energy um, about business. And um, Corinne, you, Corinne mm -hmm. tell the guys, tell the guys um, what you do and what business you created. Okay, so I run a um, business networking platform for anybody that has any business or service or talent. Um, I run, well, usually, apart from, uh, away from the lockdown, we would have events where we would do pop up. So the lady before, I think I actually crossed her name, but she would be a perfect person uh, or perfect example. So we would have someone like her come along with her product, set up a pop up store. Um, and then we have also up and coming artists that will perform throughout the night. Uh, we do games, um, open mic, you name it. But, the audience and the guests have an opportunity to interact with the pop-up stores and get some of the different businesses and services that we've found. Um, but the whole aim is to kind of encourage everybody to work together as you were so entire um, and to unite use each other's products as opposed to the main commercial store who don't seem to want to give back to us. Right, so you're, you, you have a business networking business and you um, 
give platforms to people like Bob, um, I keep calling her Barbara now, Jennifer, um, to pop up with their product and let the people know what they do. And, and so what you're encouraging us to do is to unite and buy from each other and build each exactly other up. That. And okay. it's, it's sort of to highlight as well, because I mean, something like Jennifer would be very interesting to know. We don't know who she is, we don't know where to find her. Um, obviously, she's a very commercial person, but word of mouth has always been a strong point for me. Um, yeah. So when they do, a lot of my pop ups before have made a lot of money or business, you know, very well business from our events. Um, it's just people don't know who people are and what they're doing. I had a lady that did 2K. Um, I didn't know toothpaste was so bad for us, but apparently it is. But, um, I um, I had some of her toothpaste. I used it for a month. It was really good. Toothpaste. You hear that, guys? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> Listen, we no, only run on. Oh God, Yvonne, if you go on the, when the, right, okay. All right, darling, thank you, Sheena. Right, she's saying to go on mute when you are speaking, it might help. All right, I will do that, I'll give it a go. Thank you for that. So this is why the audience, the audience here are amazing. They, they just be back and it's like, I love yeah. Her. I love, I love her. Thank you, audience, we need that interaction. It's not easy being on the screen, I can assure you of that. All right, if you try and keep your camera still. Hold on, do you know what? My battery is what is preventing me. So I'm trying to keep it on charge. Okay. All right, so Karen, what I want to know is what made you get into this business? What was going on with you? Why you started this business? Um, I started Guess Who? Um, originally from work, because I work in sort of the corporate settings, and it's quite a big organisation, so we didn't, we moved into a new department, so a new building, we didn't know the new departments and different colleagues, so it was an opportunity for us all to get to know each other, so it originally started with us going bowling, um, and literally our soldiers, let's get to know who we what we do, um, and then that grew from six people to 160, 69 people. Um, 100, you say 169 people? Yeah. For them wanting to do, do bowling. Um, I've done um, Halloween party. So they're all sort of in need of networking. So playing games and interacting where we can find out who to, what's your name, what do you do. Um, what do you like to do? So that, that awkward silence in the lift was it so apparent. Um, so then I decided to take it out of office and see if there's anybody out there I could find that's different, whether it's an artist, um, a business, a skill or a service. And I did. I started to go to a lot of open mic nights and find a lot of interesting artists um, that also have a main job in the day um and then i started to go to a lot of pop-up shops and job searches and just kind of get talking and i realized there's a lot of people that are not just working <laughs> they've got other aspirations and plans and they're doing things behind the scenes they're not just sort of doing their nine to five and i don't know about them like i said i'm working with a lady who makes toothpaste and i didn't know we was working together for so long and she makes toothpaste and she did a pop-up shop and it was a blast everybody kind of really drew to that so for me it was the excitement of bringing everybody together um and making it work and such and it, it has kind of flourished so yeah, I'm happy. that is incredible and you know what what um makes it more interesting is the fact that this was just an idea and you met a need right and this is this is one of the first things about business that I teach. You go for the need. It's not sometimes. Yes, you want to do stuff, but it actually isn't about what you particularly want to do. So if you have a thought, like you say, you know, you know these people. It went from perhaps six to one hundred and sixty nine people. One hundred and sixty nine people. And to this day, I'm still quite shocked it still adds and that's just in the sort of the workplace outside of work it's 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 still just as big but inside of work it's growing people are always 
constantly asking, when's the next event? When's the next pick-up? When, uh, they like the social interaction as well as still making money. So meeting new people that we progress them. So I, I definitely wanted to continue the, the angle of providing a platform. Um, I never knew anywhere where I could go before where I could sort of stand up and say, hi, my name is and this is what I do. Um, so yeah, I wanted to kind of provide that. Um, yeah, A bit similar to what you're doing, huh? <laughs> Good. So, thank you. Absolutely, it's very similar. I do it on the radio. You do it. You you do it outside on you know within the community. So it's very very similar. It is similar work that we do. What I want to know is is now that you have discovered this because this might, would have started out as a little hobby thing. Or I'm just going to do this and see mm -hmm. what happens. Um, now that you have discovered this, is this something that you want to do full time? A million percent. Obviously, I definitely love my day job. Um, I love my colleagues and my friends um, at work. Um, I do love my job. However, I found a new portal apparently, and I really enjoy what I'm doing. The amount of people I get to meet. Um, uh, uh, it's so interesting. I'm a nosy parker. I definitely call me Dot Cotton. I like to know, I like to talk. Um, so I'm always in the and I'm always asking, oh, so what do you do then? Oh, I know a friend who could do with you. And the fact that I'm able to kind of give back in some way, it might not be the most major, but a lot of people do appreciate what I'm doing. So yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and make that a full time service. Now, you are creating a platform. I want to tell you guys, I just want to tell you guys about your vision, right? Because like I said, we spoke earlier, and I said to I said to Kareen, you know, what is your vision? I want you to think about the biggest thing that you want to do. And and, and what was it you said, Kareen? Um, I don't know if you guys remember Apollo or um, BT Awards, Brit Awards. I wanted to become that eventually a, a channel where we own as a community what we're doing um, and nobody can kind of cut that off at any point. I was doing a live, I've been saying to you before, I was doing a live on Sunday and Instagram actually timed me out and said that, you know, I've got 10 seconds left. And I literally had to start racing to my, uh, my viewers and say, you know, I've got 10 seconds, i log back in. And it just got me thinking even more why I want to do what I'm doing so that not even Instagram can stop my connections being connected. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Facebook's going crazy now. It's just going crazy now. <laughs> yeah, because at the end, this is what I'm talking about. So Corinne is saying that she wants to create a platform like BET, uh, which is, which is a, a, a mainstream TV production company in the States, which is Black Entertainment Television, BET, yeah. where they are doing things for themselves. And like I said, it's not a matter of which one to segregate, but at the end of the day, we're sick and tired, right, of asking permission to be who we are. Now we are serving notice. This is who we are and this is what we're doing. And we're not apolog apologetic about it. We're just doing it. No, and you can accept it. A million percent. I mean, like I said, when I started um, Guess Who, everyone kept on asking me, what is Guess Who gonna be? I said, I don't know, I'm just doing events and it's gonna make sure everybody's connected. We're, we're having network events. And that's what I was calling it for ages, networking party. But real, I realised later it's actually an actual platform. So I've reworded it, it is a platform. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm for every culture and um, every race, it doesn't matter. However, like you said, it is time that we kind of stop begging um, and just have an equal stance as, as such, as it, I'd like to say. Definitely, um, there's so many different nations um, and... Um, that are prospering because they're united and we're not <laughs> we still want to side eye each other and have a, a negative comment in my live yesterday i told everybody any negative comments i will block you like, i will just block you anybody that comes in and you've got anything negative to say i'm blocking you and, and that's my energy towards the whole of guess who this is this is so perfect you know 
Um, Shireen Campbell, Shireen is, is saying, yes, Corinne, I'm loving the sound of this. Yes. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Shireen. <laughs> I love that, thank you. <laughs> Sheena is in, uh, is is this side of the woods, she's up um, in Bedfordshire area. And oh, so, really? yeah, and so this is, uh, for me, because now we are connected, I'm thinking, well, how can we utilise this? And so you may be putting on things in different areas, not just in London now, because, oh, really you sure. know. Oh, um, Lyndon says, I know a man who may help. The main thing is funding. We can do it. Yes, absolutely. We can do it. And we, yep. like I said, we are powerful. Right? I don't know if you notice, the second we unite is the problem. That's when the problems really start. And I've noticed since being in certain WhatsApp groups, since being um, talking to a lot of people, um, a different variety of people that have got the right energy. Guess who has gone from here to there? And I'm mm -hmm. just seeing it grow and grow and grow. And it literally is about being with the right connections. Um, the comments that are coming through you now are inspiring, they're motivating, it makes me know that I'm still doing the right thing. Um, yeah, it, yeah, I appreciate it. You definitely are doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing because it feels right to you and it's growing and it's helping the community. Yeah, do you know what? I must admit, I've done so many different businesses over the years in my little 31 years. And to be honest, probably about 14 years, 15 years. Um, and I've definitely tried fashion. Um, I've even done a cleaning company. I've done so many things. But my passion was never in it the way it is to get all. Mm -hmm. And it's literally because of the rewards that I'm getting from it. It's the feedback. I'm a, a kind of a now person. I want to see results now. I'm seeing results really quickly. But yeah, I'm grateful. Good, good. This and this is what we're talking about. Lyndon saying we are united. When we when you connect with the right people, like I say, this is this this is something that I want us to get. When my voice and your voice connects. Mm -hmm creates a vibration of course right that vibration it echoes in the atmosphere mm -hmm. the echo that we make when we are together that brings down the walls of all the pain mm -hmm. the shame the hurt all of those things that we've been through and that's when we start to rebuild who we are at our core but no, we must percent. first come together no a million percent we a million must percent. First. And it's so, literally starting from things like this. Things like this is definitely uh, yesterday, when it was Sunday, yesterday, I did my um live. And the people that came through were just grateful that there was an opportunity. Because you know, I mean, there's a lot of celebrities that are doing similar things, like um, talent shows and things like that, um, for the artists, but they're not getting a look in as such. There's too many people going in, um, but they're too big for what it is. Um, so the locals aren't appreciating them. They're not getting the local love. They're not getting the local support. Um, and again, a lot of people are only focusing on one area. Mine is an industry networking platform. So it doesn't matter what your industry is. It doesn't matter what your history is. I'm interested in your motivation. And your, As you told me, you taught me a new word, your commitment. As long as you're committed to what you're doing, that's where I want to be. Because we can all say and we've got dreams and I've got, got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, action definitely speaks louder than words. Speaking from experience, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it does. Show me what show me what you're saying. Show me what you're doing. Show, let's do it. Let's do it now. Come, let's go. Let's go. Guess show who is my only example. It's, that's the best thing I can say. Guess who? When it originally started, I didn't even know the name. I didn't right. even know the name. I was gonna call it House of Stars. <laughs> right. Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? When Corinne started her business, she didn't even have a name. So, guys, what I'm saying to you, listen, in, listen, listen, listen. Don't let not knowing some of the steps stop you from jumping. Are we yeah. ready to take a leap, guys? Are we ready to take a leap of faith and do what we know we can do? Like I keep saying, we are power, full power, we and full of it. We mm -hmm. are, you know, Industry United Network sounds great. <laughs> she said, can't guess who. <laughs> well, the reason why I went with get to, I'll tell you the truth. 
The clue is in the name. Guess who is doing this? Guess who started that? Guess who's ventured out? Guess who launched? It's guess who's active. So ideally, yeah. We're, you know, we would like to have open conversations. Oh, you know, it's idle. Well, guess what? And sometimes we use the word guess, that sentence, guess who, in a negative way to kind of backbite each other um, and kind of put people down. So yeah, my thing with guess who is, it's, it's to bring you up, guess what's happen, happening. Um, guess who's popped up with a new idea and it's working. And it's working. I have to remember to unmute myself. <laughs> it's and it's working, and that is the value. Um, we've got some comments here. Barbara is saying that's it, exactly it. The right connections create a powerful force, and that is so true. You know, sometimes when I speak, I say, you know, you have to be mindful of who's around you because sometimes, and it can be even people that are close to you are the worst people to be around you because there, there's no encouragement. It's mm -hmm. pure negativity, mm -hmm. and. You have to find the right the right community to be around. I think it's vital for the growth of your business. I will say this though. Yeah. You've got butterfly feeling. Follow it. Because I definitely had that butterfly feeling when I started getting and a lot of people in the beginning was it's so cliche to say, oh they're just putting me down with negative comments, but it was so true. And to see, I've only been running Guess Who for a year, but it's been really, really, really good. It's been a good journey. It's been fun. It's been exciting. Um, yeah, we've grown. So, yeah, that butterfly feeling is what made me to say, I don't care what anybody's got to say, literally. I think so. And everyone's like, but what are you doing? Don't worry, just come and see. And they came and they saw and they, they enjoyed. They came, they saw, and you conquered. That's what happened. You conquered, yeah? And so... Lyndon's saying, guess who United Network? <laughs> He's got this United Network going on. I G love that. Yeah, guess who United Network? That's what he says. Sounds great. Um, Tao saying, United we stand, divided we fall. And that's absolutely true. Absolutely true, ladies and gentlemen. we got things to do. we got things to do. Well, one of the things that, that encouraged me um, to... to connect with Corinne is the fact that the way in which your business came about was so organic it was so beautiful it's like all right I'm just going to try this thing I'm going to try a thing and see what happens and and from that 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 takes bravery that was a bold move thank you right? very very bold move follow the right so Sheena's saying follow the butterfly feeling yeah I like that so I attempted making my own hair grease for the first time. Well done. Yeah. You know, girl. Yeah. Come Let on. Me I will sample that for you. Come Tell on. me, hit me up. I will definitely sample and promote. Yeah, I'm definitely for that. Did you hear that, Sheena? Did you hear that? You better pretty up the screen, love. I'm telling you, you better pretty up that screen because my girl's saying she'll follow that up. Yeah, and she'll try it. Yeah, no, bring that send up my way. Definitely. Send it away. I'm down for promoting and, and sampling. What time is time? I'm, I'm only going to go to the, the man, the little Asian man's not even open at the moment. I need her. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that, I'm only going to go and spend my, my $3.99, $4.99 with the Asian man. As we said, I don't know what's going to do. Right. Right. Come on now. Come on now. See, do you see how powerful this is? Can you see how, listen, guys, you need to be telling your brethren, your people, your cu your cousin, your family, them to log it into this show every week because this is the direction we're going in. Everything is changing. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> may I change everything? Yeah, it is. And you know what? The, 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 the whole lockdown process, don't feel like it. And there's a lot of conspiracy, a lot of yeah ideas of what's going on. But all I do know is it's definitely happened for a reason, and I've embraced it. I've um, reached out to a lot of people that I wouldn't have. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of things that I wouldn't have. I've taken advantage of that time. Um, mm -hmm. And I definitely would say to everybody right now, before the lockdown does release, 
Do what you gotta do. Now is the time. God never gave us the opportunity or time for no reason. Absolutely. I never thought I'd live to see a, a, a time like this in in our our lifetime. To be honest, you know, big epidemic. Is it pandemic? Epidemic. But we are. We're here for a reason. So yeah, utilize it. Make it happen because it ain't gonna be here for a reason. And it's not gonna stay the same. We're not going back to our old reality. So it's a case of embracing the new you or then adapting to the new situation and making your your shillings and your network from what's happening now starting with what you're doing is a very good book girl absolutely guys did you hear that did you hear that make the most of the time now we are in lockdown we are in lockdown for a reason but we are here to make the most of it. I don't want us to get so consumed with what's going on outside, who's saying what, who's doing what. Doris has said what we had to say, right? If you don't understand what Doris was saying, after the show, go and look on my Facebook, you'll see a psychologist breakdown, right? That's And, and then know to make a decision for yourself. This is a time for us to be our own rescue and stop looking for everybody else to, to bail us out. We have mm -hmm. to put on our big girl pants and our get big boy pants mm -hmm. and we've got to be our own rescue. So Veronica is asking, what is Guess Who? Right, so Guess Who is a, uh, a business networking uh, organisation mm -hmm. and um, that helps people who are in the creative space. Well, anybody, really, you're saying, aren't you? Yeah, you so it doesn't matter what their industry is. It doesn't matter. Um, for me, it's to promote, highlight, and create awareness of your product, business, skill, or service. So like I said, I've got um, poets, rappers, singers, um, artists, drawers, and then I've got customised fashion designers, I've got counsellors, masseuse. Um, I personally work in my day job in construction, so that's another plus. So I've got quite a few connects in the construction industry. So anything to do with building, home maintenance, I'm a girl. Day-to-day <laughs> um, -day cars, day-to-day -day running. I've found somebody for everybody or something for somebody in every, in every situation. I'm, or I'm, that's what I'm trying to do as such. Um, so then I offer you guys a platform where you can go do a pop-up of whatever your business is or your skill or your service. And I offer an opportunity to do an open mic. So if you don't want to do a pop-up as such, maybe not quite ready um, for whatever reason, you can come up, still attend and do an open mic and just say, hi, my name is, this is what I'm doing or this is what I plan to do, look out for me. Um, but you still have an opportunity to meet and interact directly with the new businesses. Um, the main thing is that I try to interact with people that are actively doing what they're doing and committed to what they're doing. It's not just, oh, I've got a business and it works sometimes and I'm interested in it sometimes. It's every day that's my passion and my dream. Even if you can't actually execute it <laughs> at the moment. Brilliant. And, and yes, Barbara, not Barbara, yeah, you did hear correctly. Corinne did say poets. Oh, yes. We have a poet. Barbara's a poet. She's writing a book. So, oh, yes. when, so when you're ready, the platform, you see, this is what we're talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Coming to collaboration. Mm -hmm. The platform is already being formed. I don't want to put any restric restrictions on anybody's passion. It doesn't matter what it is that you're doing. Um, for me, <coughs> You want to do it? I'm going to help you. I'm going to support you. And if it means literally just sharing a post, coming on here and speaking about somebody's brand, I don't mind. I, I will do whatever I can. Um, and I have a lot of nosy people too. I'm just as well as I'm nosy. Don't always mm -hmm. So, yeah, word of mouth is always the best thing. But yeah. Poets, I'm welcome to you. Please come. You see what I'm saying, guys? Listen. We're, we're doing something. We're changing the script. We are commanding our own destiny because we are creators. Yeah? We're created to create. And so this is what we're doing. I just want to welcome those of you who are just joining us for this evening's conversation with Yvonne Michelle. 
Um, I want to thank you guys for staying with us, even though we were having trouble with the mm -hmm. internet dropping in and out. You stayed with us, and I want to thank you for that. And just welcome everybody that's coming on board. If you guys have any questions for Kareen, can you please put them on the thread or in the, in the comments so that I can ask Kareen those mm -hmm. questions? Buy them all at me. I'll do my best to answer. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about the future. Hmm. You see, you see, look, look at look at what Sheena's saying. We need our own film studio too. Oh yes, God. we do. But my darling, if you need uh, something recorded, you come and you see me, and I will mm -hmm. remember I'm doing a TV show. Hello, I will hook you up. This is what we're talking about. Yes, yeah, exactly. About. You know, one hour wash the other. Do you know if we're not we're, we're, we're too afraid of real life as a nation, as a community, British, like we're very, very um robotic, systematic, um, and afraid to kind of launch and branch out to what we want to do in fear of failure. And I definitely and that's what I'm trying to dismiss. I don't I, listen, I've done so many things that I've started tried and failed and worked, and you know what I mean. Every day is a different day. So it's just a case of, just try, just try. But you know what? You see the thing where you say you tried and failed. You didn't fail, you know. What you well, did you know. is from that feedback and Not now true. you're in a place where you need to be. There's no failure. No, it's very true. And this is what I was saying the other day on, on my morning inspiration. There is no failure. Mm -hmm. the, actually, the only thing that you can fail to do is not notice the answers yeah. that mm -hmm. you're getting. Because in yeah. everything, we learn we learn more from mm -hmm. the things that are mistakes than the things that are not. A million percent. Uh, yeah, I'll backtrack on that because it's very true. A lot of my failures have made me determined and confident the person that I am today, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I've been, as you said, brave and bold. I do some bold things that I think they are. You're a bit brave to do that, but I'm a strong believer in what's the worst that you're going to say no. Mm -hmm. All right, but you better say no politely, but I don't mind, I can take your no. Mm -hmm. But I'm more, I'm more grateful for your yes. Mm -hmm. And if I try and I get a yes, then yeah, let's go. That's good. Well, if you, you know what? This is what I tell, this is what I tell my, my, my students and I tell, I tell my, my children. If mm -hmm. you hear no, it only means next opportunity. That's all. Yep. It was the next thing. It wasn't meant for them. <coughs> and sometimes when people say no, you'll find a little while later, it could be a year, two years, it might even be five years, mm -hmm. they come back. And say yes. And say yes. Yeah. Because if you're consistent. Well, that's it. You, you never took no for an answer. Consistency is the key. We've got here, setbacks only make you stronger. You're being drawn back like a bow, like a bow, like that. I'm ready so to, I'm a Sagittarius, you know, that person knows me. <laughs> I love it, that was Pauline Young. I love it, Pauline, I love it, I love I'm that. I'm a I'm ready to start shooting. Every single opportunity I got, I'm gonna try and hit it. I'm hit try. Oh, absolutely. Setbacks only make you stronger. You're being drawn back like a bow to be launched at your target. Come on, girl. is great. I love it. <coughs> Guys, I need some, where did something? Sorry. Water. You know, when you're talking and you're talking and you're talking and you're talking, you've been talking all day, your mouth gets dry, my mouth is dry. I'm trying to sip on this little taste bad apple juice. You know, cloudy. Is it cloudy? Like cloudy apple? Mm -hmm. Does it taste bad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've got some comments. Right. So Barbara's saying definitely every experience, whether we feel the result is good or not, is something we can learn from and aspire to experience something even better. Absolutely. Amazing. Sheena's saying, um, I've tried different things myself. I had a cleaning business, ironing and laundry business. I'm still a perfume consultant um, and just recently joined Herbal Life, but mm -hmm. it's not enough. 
I'm in the middle of writing a book for plays and films. Love that. Yeah, because you know, a lot of people used to tell me, oh, focus on one thing. You know, don't get me wrong, focus on one thing, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I had a little download the other day about this focusing on one thing. You can focus on more than one thing. But in order to be effective, right, you have to look at these, you have to look at your businesses as children. Mm -hmm. so these, your business is a child. You've got to look at it like you are nurturing a baby. Now, we know most of us have one baby at a time. But what happens when you have twins? Mm -hmm. You've still got to, or, or triplets, yeah. you've still got to nurture them. But what you do is you run them the same. So the, the same... Um, driver the same network the same, everything is exact because most of the time when you see people that have twins mm -hmm. triplets, they're all dressed the same yeah. all of them because it makes it easier to manage yeah. so you will then have to run your business with the same sales the same funnels that you have the same the same things that you're doing for this business one you have to do it for business two. you have to run it identically mm -hmm. the same start at the same time and do it all the same when i got that download i was jumping i was like that's deep that's that's that is that that's is the no, so again, that's the way a million yeah. percent well, that's how I try to adapt a lot of all of my day-to-day -day activities. Um, like I said, I've, I've got a day job, I've got to go to, but there are so many other things I do. But what I do do is adapt the same principle as method of doing things and making, getting things done. That determination, yeah. that focus, that yeah. go-get attitude that I would have for work. For work pays me to be there, I've got to be there and there. So that same attitude I would have for them, I've done that and more with everything else that I'm doing, so that it, I'm executing every single one of my opportunities. Um, and don't get me wrong, there are times, or sometimes I'm running a bit late, but there are never a time where I'm not going to try my hard to make sure it gets up. And I always get to the end of life. <laughs> made it, girl. You made it. You made it. You made, yeah, made it. Yeah. So, guys, know that you can. It's not easy. Running one business is not easy, but you can run multiple businesses if you use the same template that you use mm -hmm. on the board and you run them together. I mean, I'm so. It's not easy. And most business coaches, gurus, whatever you want to call them, consultants, will tell you to do one at a time. But some of us are able to multitask really well. Yeah, so. just bore, would just bore us, yeah? So I want to welcome everyone that's just joining us. Thank you for your comments. Please do put you up the screen and show some love because I haven't had an og in a long time, so I need some love. I need some love arts on here. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> so only God knows when I will get an UG again. So I need some UGGing. We're going to do air hugs. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Thank you for the love. Yes, thank you for the love. Listen, we are, uh, this is Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. We are on Luton Urban Radio. We are here on Facebook Live. And we are streaming through StreamYard. And we're having an absolutely amazing time. We've had two powerful women come and talk about what they're doing from two different perspectives so we had um jennifer who spoke about network marketing and she's doing a um she's using a natural product that is really making changes to hair especially alopecia around the edges around our edges she's you know and she had some uh pictures and everything to prove she's got the proof that this product really works so so um jennifer was here for and now we have kareen who has an organization uh, a network um marketing company no it's not a network marketing yeah that's a industry, industry networking platform industry networking platform called guess who and that's for for people who are serving people who are in the community people who are actors um who are um, doing business, 
business skills, anything. If you have a business, you can do a pop up. So there are many, many avenues. And what we're doing is we're creating the platform so that we now have a place, a base to show what we do. And we want everybody to get involved and start, you know, putting out, putting it out there. I don't want you to be afraid. To no, not to sure. leave. Say again, darling. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want no one to feel that, like, oh, you know, I'm not ready. Cause you definitely highlighted that. Um, I remember I was saying to you, I'm, I haven't got enough to, oh. and in theory I have, I've got a lot. Um, I've got a lot of people, a lot of following and, don't let, don't be afraid to just try it and show everybody who you are and what you're doing, um, small or big, because it definitely people want to see, and you'll be so surprised how supportive people are. They really are encouraging and supportive. The re and yesterday, one of my um my life, I did a cipher. So it's not just about you know suit and tie, um, very formal. I'm having fun in my life, um, and guess who is literally fun. Um, but making money while having fun sort of thing. Um, and the cipher, there was a £50 competition. Literally just come in and freestyle. But for me, that was an opportunity for you to just express and um, to show your 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 talent. And your, there was an opportunity for them to showcase their own works. Um, I did the same thing with pop-ups. So I, um, I, I gave them an opportunity to literally create a pop-up in their home. Because even though we're on we're on lockdown, why can't we still sell and, and still interact? So um, they made a little pop up in their home, and they showed us their brand. Uh, they was in and out, say hi. We are this is what we do, and they um, are reflect culture. They do children's clothes, which are um, black, should I say, or uh, Caribbean faces, characters, children faces, but they're relatable. So the little kids, uh, I think they said it was between two and 15 years old. So then they got little afros, um, hoodies, little studded earrings. And they're, they're cute, but kids are relatable. And I said to myself, Nike isn't relatable anymore. It's just a tick. Why are we wearing Nike every day? And, and you know, there's something out there that we can relate to. My niece absolutely loved that brand. So, yeah, it was just a case of highlighting and promoting, focusing on what they did. Good. That is really, really what this is about. And it's you're bringing people together and you're giving them the chance. And the fact is that you did your first live nervously, but you did it. You did mm -hmm. it, you know. I know, because I had it for two weeks before um, and I had somebody else hosting it for me. <laughs> yeah. I did what, it was myself. what was the question I asked you today? <laughs> Why you got someone else doing it for you? Do it. Just get out there and, and do it. Before you say it, I'll say this. Um, me, no disrespect to my, my host, because she's amazing at what she does, and she's wicked. But nobody will drive your business the way you want it to be driven. And my guess who life, like I said, that was the third one I've done so. But that was the third one I've done online. The rest of them, she's always done my husband, but that was the best one yet. Um, and before the first one I done, we had like twenty three to fifty people views. Last night was two hundred and ten, so, and that was just because I had the right passion and the energy. I was able to improvise with the screen, improvise with the comments, mm -hmm. to make it work. So yeah, there's no. If you want a job done, yeah, they right. Do it yourself. Yeah, sometimes in, my, in a lot of cases, especially when it's especially when it's a new business and a new baby, you you have to. I would suggest that you take that. Right, that's what you are there to do. To run your business, run your baby, look after it, nurture it, give it what it needs so that it can mm -hmm. grow and thrive. So this this is good stuff. This is good stuff, and I'm so glad that our paths have crossed. I really do. Um, we've got another comment. We've got a comment from Pauline. She said, this lockdown is really going to help some of us realise our true potential. Draw upon the talents we have. Entrepreneurs are being born. Yeah, a million percent. Drop get the mic. To, get your standard diagram. That's what I say as well. Um, I was helping a friend um, start a little business. She's doing a little that 24-hour store. Uh, boutique, should I say? Um, 
of all sorts of products, hair stuff, you name it, that we need in the shop today. And that's just got them in stock. And I said, so draw a spider diagram of everything you want from um, your brand. If one, I've lost you. Okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I can Yeah, so I said, so draw a spider diagram, literally go old school, and and you'll find that everything you need to do in tick box exercise, just, just cross them all off bit by bit. And it's worked. She's got a logo. She's got her um, uh, Instagram page. Start small, but yeah, just make it happen. Just do it. <laughs> That's what I would say. Just do it. Absolutely. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That is probably That's one the of the part. Part. That's the best part. Yeah, the best. Part. Just feel the fear. Do it anyway. Listen, it's almost like I want you to think about. Most of us here, I'm, I'm saying, I'm going to say, have children or have been around children, toddlers, who can, who are babies who cannot walk, right? They see everybody around them walking. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot of people who are going to listen to this are watching people do things in business. Mm -hmm. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. But what babies do is they watch and they learn. So they, they learn and they see that the people are up on their feet. You don't have to put a child up on their foot, you know, for them to start, try to stand up. Mm -hmm. they will you hold when the baby, ready, up, they will try to start jumping on. They're finding their feet. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you guys listening, what are you doing to find your feet? You're looking at people in business and you're watching. But what are you doing to actually stand on your own feet for you to progress and take that step? Because you see, what happens is the baby stands. And once the baby stands, it starts to shake and starts to move. It needs to get balance, right? Mm -hmm. And the same way we're looking when we're starting a business, we need little things in place to get the balance of the business, to actually understand what the business is. Then... The baby's like, it starts to rock because it's like, it sees people taking a step, they're moving their feet. It's got to work out, how do I move my feet in the mm -hmm. same way so that I can step? And you know, babies, they stand there and they, they're kind of rocking, but they know they're going to take a step. Yeah, no. And they take the one step and they drop. But what happens with that baby is that baby gets up. Mm -hmm. Does it again. And what happens is sometimes when we are in business, we take a step and we drop, we fall, yeah, right? Yeah. And we don't get back up because we're too busy looking at other people. But what I want to yeah. encourage you to do today is to stand. And even though you're, you're, you might be scared, your teeth might be knocking, you know, your knees are knocking, everything, you're scared, your heart's palpitating, your hands are sweating. Right, you're scared to take that step forward in your business. I'm going to say to you today, I'm going to challenge you, do it. Yeah, that, that feeling that you're talking about, I'm still going through it now, but I'm telling you, that's what's driving me. Right. That, that butterfly, that sweaty pants, even coming on this live now, girl, all of it is part of my um motivation but i definitely go for that fear and i'm still going for it and i mean i remember i saying to you before i went on a radio show before and they couldn't see me it was actually on top and i didn't tell anybody who that was going on i didn't i, didn't, I just went on and I just thought, whoever hears it i pray they hear it and they receive it but i didn't tell any of my family and friends just because of the nerve but i thought i've got to do it myself um, but I was grateful that I was. I still actively did it, even though I didn't tell everybody. Else. I had the opportunity again. I can do that over and over. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying to everyone is, just don't let because you're scared. That's when you must go for it the most. That even the more, more, even the more. Absolutely right. That's I'm gonna. Put, we've, got, show. we've got 15 minutes left of the show. Show goes really quickly. So I'm gonna add, bring Jen back in. Hello, my darling. Thank you for coming back. So we are all here. Can you hear? Hi, Jen. I know Jen was having problems with her internet. And it looks like it's freezing. You might need to go onto your own data again. I'll remove you for a little bit until you're there, until you come back. 
All right, yeah, she's disconnected. She'll come back. Um, okay, so we're down to the last um, 15 minutes. Sheena says, um, I pushed myself by starting up my Zoom and Facebook page, bring it to the table. This took me out of my comfort zone. Yes, and I am yeah. super proud. I'm super proud of Sheena. She's What's really bring it to the table? That sounds really interesting. Right. Bring it to the table is going to be coming on the show. She doesn't know it yet. Really? She knows it now. <laughs> that sounds really interesting. It is. I it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, it. bring it to the table is like um, Red Table Talks. It's a... Where I, I, I imagined. That's what I imagined. Yeah. Yeah. UK okay. So Jen is back. Let's see if we can get her back in. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, she is there. Jen, don't worry. You're not alone. It's everybody. I was struggling to get in this minute ago. Yeah, there we go. Hi, We've got Hi, you on Jen. Screen. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, we can hear oh, you. Amazing. We can hear you, but you're freezing a little bit. Yes, Sheena, you're saying, oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just leaving you to get a few more episodes under your belt, love. And then I will be bringing you on to share with what you're doing. Oh. Okay, let's take oh, a sorry, give me two seconds, everyone, two seconds. Okay. Right, so when they come back, oh, Jen is back. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get her in. Are you back? Hello. Yes, you're back. Okay, listen, I said in the beginning, we shall not be defeated with this internet. We are going to end this show right. We will not be defeated at all. <laughs> so um, Karina's just gone off. She's back on camera. Let's bring her back in. There we go. Hello. So, sorry. Hi, Joe. Hi. How hi, are you? Hi. You're well? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I wanted to come back to mention I've got my um, email address. But if anybody's got any questions um, about products, I want to give a personal recommendation. I don't want to go on the website and do something. Everybody's got um, different issues. I mean, we've got different, so much different products for different hair concerns. So they can like uh, message me directly. I did message it in my, my email address for you. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me do that. Keep yeah, keep talking. I'll I will get that into the thread shortly. Yeah, no, I, I saw the email in the chat, Jen. So I definitely will um, drop your one liner with my details. Feel free to definitely come down once we are freed from lockdown and get in contact with me. We can do a pop up. Your um, product will be useful for our community. My audience will definitely appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to put your, your, um, here we go. I'll put your thing up here. There we go. There we go. There's Jennifer's. Oh, that's me. There we go. There we go. There's your email address. If you, um, Corinne, if you want to put your email address in the uh, private chat, I can yeah. then load it up here so people can contact you oh, directly. Perfect. I will definitely. Superstar. Right, there Shall you go. Yeah, do it now. So, guys, I want to just say, um, where are we going? Here we go. Right, so Perfect. thank you so much. You can see this has changed. This whole look of my show has changed, right? Yeah. So I'm able to do so much more now by how I'm streaming. Have you done that? Have you put it in there? Oh, you're doing it now. So I just want to remind you guys, as we're coming down to the end of the show, tomorrow night we have After Dark. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. I have another show, After Dark, Conversations After Dark, and this is the relationship show that we do that really good. yes come it's an open forum come bring friends if you know any single men bring them 
You know, we do it live on, we do it live. We don't go via StreamYard, we go via Zoom. So we have a Zoom room chat. And oh, we, are talking, we are talking and it it does pop off. Last week it popped off, mate. <laughs> it was that sounds like a lot of fun. It is, it is. So we do, we have this. So that's tomorrow um, at 10 till midnight. 10 till midnight, guys. Those of you are listening, 10 till midnight. Join me right here. Join me on my Facebook page, um, Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. And we are going live um, tomorrow. Hold on, let me just get this. So which one do you want? Do you want the, him to message you on Instagram or your um, um preferably no. Instagram, but I will take um, I'm always on the um at the control. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, let me just because I can oh hold on. Copy, let's do that. So I'm literally doing this all by myself. This is this is mad. Well done. Do you know what? It's it, it's such a huge learning curve. It really is. All part of the lockdown, COVID. Listen, I've learned so much ab about myself in this time. It's crazy. Really, and really, true. It really I is. I think that's what it was designed to do as well. Teach us all something new about ourselves. Absolutely. We're definitely learning. Absolutely. I've learned so, so much. Do you know what? I must admit, the, the energy that has come from the lockdown has been good though i must admit it's been amazing everyone's so supportive and one thing more kind it's like we're literally in this pandemic together mm -hmm. we are we are as i like to say we are we are in the same storm but we're all on different boats so our journey is different but well, what i will say before you, before you go Mm -hmm. um, find yourself when it's everyone oh, no. starting when we go back from the lockdown from, from the same point we're all at the same um, level everyone's got to start promoting their brand again start creating awareness again so what uh, that kind of gives us that same starting point, nobody's ahead of anybody anymore, nobody's kind of behind anybody anymore, we're all literally at the same point so it's just now you need to prepare yourself for that start date because we're going to go to that ribbon is going to be cut and we're going to go and start running and everyone is going to be running literally yeah just make sure you're ready absolutely and, and that's so true and that's what i've been saying to the ladies in my group you know right now i'm not concerned about what's going on i'm not concerned about any of that anymore i'm concerned about getting people ready for when the time comes for us to come out of this because it's going to look completely different and I want us to be able to stand together and do something you know well guys you know where I'm at I'm um, on Instagram guess who shines 316 anything I can do for support give Yvonne a shout hit me up on the Instagram or um, all the uh, emails I'm a million percent of support promote do anything I can and um, and I'd love to see you all down at our show. Hopefully, we're going to try and do one um, a proper back at our events. Usually, we do them in Brixton, Market House. Um, it's just because it's a nice central location for everybody, but it's sort of a relaxed environment as well. So, hopefully, we can try and get back to it in around July -ish, August, mm -hmm. depending on what the government say. Well, before you do that, when you do your major launch, you're coming back on the show anyway, so that people will know. So this is how we do it. This is how we do it, guys. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. We've got five minutes before the end of the show. Jennifer, do you want to come in and just say anything? Your your um website is your email address is on screen right now. I don't think she can hear me. Because I think oh, the no. The delay would have kicked in. Okay. And I'm just going to pop yours on. So we've got your guess who shines, guess who. We've got, yeah, Jennifer's struggling. The internet's going. So, guys, we are nearly at the end of the show. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, I just want to make sure that you remember 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, morning inspiration with me right here live on Facebook. Um, I will be putting it onto Instagram eventually. 
Um, <coughs> I'll try to run it at the same time. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So tomorrow, 9 a.m., uh, morning inspiration. Tomorrow evening at 10 p.m., we have After Dark Conversations and we are talking relationships. Um, there is no Let's Cook on Thursday. I run a cooking show as well on Thursdays. There is no Let's Cook um, this Thursday. Uh, we will resume back again next week. Um, what else is there that I'm, I'm doing? There's loads of things going on around. But guys, if you have listened to this message today, if you've listened to the show and feel like you want to take yourself further, you want to invest in yourself, you want to invest in um, network marketing, or you want to have, invest in your own business and you don't know quite where to start, I'm going to leave my uh, calendar, my appointment calendar, in the thread as well so if you do want to make an appointment i'm offering a free 20 minute consultation to help you to give you uh some steps as to what you do and um you get steps right if i just bring in corinne corinne had uh, a session today i was gonna um you know give my testimony <laughs> guys and um, I don't know Yvonne from anywhere. Let me just put that out there. I, I reached out to Yvonne and I um, told her about Guess Who and I actually called her to say, you know, come along and promote exactly what I'm doing with you guys. However, me and Yvonne's relationship has to be a lot more than her coming along and just providing the service to the girl. So I've actually taken on um, Yvonne. Her energy, the way she spoke to me today, it's warming, it's comfortable, and it allows me to um, be confident to do what I've got to do and say what I want to say with the one. So I definitely say if you can afford the time um, and the finances, the energy, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. One, I thank you for this opportunity, I do. And I thank you for your time um, and, again, your energy. What you're doing is amazing. Thank you, my darling. Thank you so much. Jennifer, you've got one minute because we're coming to the end of the show. Can you hear me? There's a bit of a delay. Oh, Jen. <laughs> We've come to the end of the show. We've got one minute left. And I just want to thank you. Um, Sheena saying, brilliant show, ladies. Thank you so much. Guys, if you, um, Carol Rolly saying, yes, yes, amen. Yvonne is an inspiration. Thank you so much, um, Lorraine, for that. If you need to have some assistance and you want to learn, you want to grow in your business. And you, if even if you don't have a business and you have an idea, if you want to take yourself further, I will leave my uh, details on the feed. Contact me and you will get a free consultation. But for now, this is Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. This is your girl. And, you know, we've come to the end of the show. We will be here next week. We will be here next week. Do join us between the hours of 8 and 10. Remember, tomorrow we've got conversations after dark. So if you've got anybody that's single that wants to chat and wants to meet people, come on board. I will send you the link. I will send you the, the you've got the link, actually. You've got the uh, Zoom link. Same link, right? So come in, join us. But for now, I wish you well. Stay safe. God bless you. Good night. Ciao. Bye, guys. Ciao. Ciao.